Hey everyone, my name is Yomi Degake. I'm a 28 year old journalist from Croydon. Um, I'm currently the women's columnist at The Guardian and co-author of a book called Slaying Your Lane. And um, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my career journey and hopefully give you guys some advice on um, breaking into journalism. I went to university to study law at Warwick. Um, I was told that I'd probably really enjoy law by my parents because um, I like to argue or so they say. Um, and the minute that I sort of stepped foot on campus, got into my first um, lecture or whatever, I absolutely hated it. Um, but I definitely really liked writing. That was one thing that I knew since um, secondary school and probably primary school. So I started writing for my university paper. I wasn't part of the um, team or anything. I just used to submit the odd column. In my final year of university, um, I decided to take some time out I was suffering with depression and um, decided that it would be best if I took a year off and during that year um, I was essentially out of boredom really I started up a blog where I kind of continued my tradition of moaning <laughs> on on the internet and my friend sort of said you know this is great have you thought of um, you know doing this and being paid it's called journalism and I was like oh wow I've never put two and two together like I, should, I definitely would like to do that so I started a magazine called birthday magazine which I launched on my year out I did my first internship at the Telegraph I think in 2014 maybe 13 I can't remember probably 2014 later on that year um, I got a job at a place called um, V Point News which was a sort of um, topical pop culture website aimed at millennials and i was there for about a year and a half but um it was unfortunately um you know the, the plug was pulled on it unfortunately so then um in that building channel 4 news was just on the floor above at the um at grazing road and um yeah i was really lucky to have been noticed by the channel 4 news team who then brought me on as an online producer i was there for two and a half years um, at the same time, me and my best friend, Elizabeth, um, had decided discussing the fact we wanted to write a book called Slaying Your Lane, The Black Girl Bible, which is essentially a guide to life aimed at young black British women. So my top three tips in terms of um, trying to get into journalism, always remember that it's never been easy for you to kind of put your work out there. Um, you know, there are platforms and pages such as Medium, um, which allow you to kind of like write blogs that are like look quite professional and all in one place um, you know there's it's never been easier to sort of get a domain name and a space for your writing um, there are really sort of amazing platforms that have you know risen up to the challenge in terms of like diversity in the media and are always keen to hear from sort of young diverse writers such as Gal Dem and like Black Ballad so yeah I would definitely say um, don't feel frustrated if you don't get the responses that you want immediately my second tip would just always be to be polite professionalism and politeness go a real long way um, most of the time I've been commissioned for stuff it's not because the person who's commissioning me is a friend of mine it's or, or you know we have a pre-existing relationship most of the time it's just been because um, I've either worked with them before and I've been professional and polite or because you know um, I've worked with somebody that they know and I've been um, professional and polite and I think my third thing would be to try and find a beat or some sort of niche something that's definitely sets you apart because um, I think especially with the internet like and how overcrowded and oversaturated it can be in terms of just there's a lot of noise and um, I think it's quite good to have something distinct that you want to say and and find out why it is you want to talk about that thing and really sort of um yeah push push through with it thanks for listening everyone if you need some help trying to navigate the current climate then check out the prince's trust coronavirus support hub where there are loads of resources and advice also check out the prince's trust live chat where there are loads of support workers that are available for a friendly chat or to offer some guidance Thanks for listening guys and remember you've got very little to lose and everything to gain by just starting something that you want to do today. Bye!